Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Cara, hope you're doing well. It is Tuesday and just wanted to sit down and film. Haven't filled in a couple weeks and I missed it. So I'm going to try and do a colorful look today. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but we'll try. I picked up the primer water, wanted to try it, so we'll just spritz that on. I have been liking it. I've noticed a difference in my makeup. It's uh, not been breaking up as much, but I also want to go in with Benefit Professional just for my T-zone, uh, just a little bit to kind of blur out my pores. I do have larger pores, so just want to minimize those as much as possible. So, what have you guys been up to? Like I said, I haven't filmed in a couple weeks, as I'm sure you, you noticed. I've been traveling. I went to New York for a few days, and traveling just takes a lot out of me anymore. As you can see, my skin just hates me right now, but that's all right. It'll go away, um, and that's what concealer's for. So, prime face. And I already got my brows done. That was a nightmare. I tried out a brow pomade. Not really good at it. Didn't really like it. So I'm going to stick with my pencils. So next I'm going to prime my eyes. Painterly Paint Pot. Per usual. Just put that on. Get ready for shadow. some on just a thin layer I don't want to cake it up don't want it to crease I've been trying a couple different primers for my eyelid I got one in my ipsy bag it's the smashbox one I don't know I'm not really sold on it every time I use it my my eyeshadow creases so I don't know if that will be a win for me um, I went to the drugstore today and I picked up just a, a matte nude shadow because the one that I use to set my eyelids in my Lorac Pro palette is running out so figured I'd give this one a try it is the Maybelline Expert Wear eyeshadow in soft pearl so I'm gonna see if I like this I'm just going to take a big brush like this and maybe if I can open it I don't like the little sponge applicators, but you can see it's just just a matte, nude or lighter toned color. So I'm just gonna sh set my eyeshadow or the base just so that I can reduce creasing, and hopefully it will lay down shadow early or better. You can tell there's a little bit of a tint to it, but um, it's going on nice. So. I do like it. We'll see how it performs with other shadows on it though. That's done. So I'm going to take my Makeup Geek palette that I built and I really need to clean my brushes. Um, I'm going to start out with this color just to lay a, a lighter transition shade down. I'm going to take it up a little further than I normally do just to help any other shadows that I put down and try and have a gradient effect with the color that I'm going in. little bit higher. I wanted to try and wait to film. Um, I'm getting the Morphe 3502 palette. It's supposed to come I think tomorrow and I ordered a couple of brushes and I wanted to wait but figured I would try this and I miss filming for you guys so I figured I might as well go for it. Let me grab a couple more brushes. Let's see here. What I'm going to do actually going to start laying down a corner crease or corner inner corner color I'm gonna go with this one at shimma shimma I'm gonna put that on the inner corner start with that 
see what that looks like. You can see. I'm just going to really layer these shadows just to kind of help um, blend them and we'll blend them out. Next, I'm just taking this color right here, which is unexpected with from Makeup Geek. I'm going to try and put it in the middle. I don't know if it'll show up too much, so I might switch it out for a different one. This could be disastrous, but I'll try. It's really soft. You might lose some corner shadows, so just go back and forth with the colors just to blend them in, overlap them. That did not pick up very much, so I think I'm going to try and take Twilight it has a little bit of a shimmer to it, but we'll try it and see what it looks like. We might need to put that unexpected in the crease rather than on the lid, which is fine. Okay, then I'm going to go into this shade, which is Wisteria. Wipe off some of it. Some of my shadows blend together, so I usually have to just wipe it off. So just take a little bit, put it on the outer portion, overlap. These are not showing up very well, but we'll keep going. Might add a little bit more out of another palette. going to just run that in the crease with that wisteria color yeah that did not show up very well let me go into my Jaclyn Hill palette there's a purple shade in here I'm gonna try and add that just a tiny tiny bit in my outer corner if I can find the brush that I want Let's see if I can do this I'm just gonna take a small brush just pick up a little go on the outer corner just to try and darken it up and bring it a little bit into the crease take this brush again just try and blend it so it's not too intense I do want to go back into makeup geek go back into shimmer shimmer wipe that off and really get in there in the corner with that going to take just a big fluffy brush blend this I think I'm going to intensify that purple on the outer corner from the Jaclyn Hill palette. Try and bring it in just a tiny bit more. Those purples from the Makeup Geek palette did not show up very well, so we might just overlap the Jaclyn Hill. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We'll just go in with the Jaclyn Hill color, bring it into Shimmer Shimmer just to tie it all in 
take blending brush, see if we can blend this out. What I'm actually going to do, I'm just going to take my finger and pick up some shimmer shimmer. Just do it this way to see if this will help what I want. There we go. That helped. So I think that I'm going to pick up some more of this muted purple and see if I can just have a tiny bit of the lighter purple in the middle. There we go. I like that better. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this brush. It is my go-to blending brush. It's the E25. I'm going to pick up that muted purple to put it in my crease to see if that will blend this all, tie it together. So what have you guys been up to? Halloween is over, Thanksgiving is next week. Do you guys usually cook at your house? Do you go somewhere? Let me know. I, uh, I'm i cooking here for my family. Um, my mom and my grandmother will be coming over. I've kind of taken over the holiday duties of cooking and hosting. and So that will be fun. Okay. I think that's good for now. What I do want to do though is go back into that color that I set my primer with and I'm just going to put that on my brow bone just to see how it looks. It does have a little shimmer to it. So just add a little bit of shimmer. Blend that out. I said this before, I don't like how my eyeshadow looks until I get um, liner and foundation and all of that done. I just prefer to wait until then to really determine if I need to add anything else. I'm just going to intensify just this eye just a tiny bit. Okay, so far that's what we're looking at on the eyes. Not my most favorite, but... It is a little bit of color. Purple is my favorite color. Alright, we'll go with that. I'm going to go with foundation now. I have my sponge and I'm going to stick with my CoverGirl. I've really been sticking to that just because I know it's good on my skin. And when I travel, I don't want to try new foundations. I don't want to introduce anything else to my skin that could make it break out. Um... So we'll just stick with this just until my skin calms down from traveling. What are some color combinations that you guys have tried that you wouldn't think would go well together that actually looked really nice? Comment down below. Let me know. I want to try some more color combos to see if I can create something cool or just add some more color into my looks. Let me know. Get a little more to blend it down my neck again I need to get a lighter shade just because summer is gone I don't have a tan anymore so I've been having to drag it down pretty far but I don't mind okay have been picking up some products, so I've been using some products that I've been wanting to try for a long time. One of those being a concealer. I picked up 
the Tarte Shape Tape. This is in Fair Neutral. It is a bit light, um, but that's okay because I add my naked skin on top of it. I just put a tiny bit just to brighten up my inner corner. And then I take my naked skin in light warm and add a little, and I'm gonna put some right here on this little guy. A little right there, a little right there. I look like a zombie or something. <laughs> and I just take my sponge and blend out. I've really been liking the shape tape. I think it does have pretty good coverage. I do like it. So next time I think I'll just get maybe a shade darker so it's not so so bright but I don't necessarily mind that all that much um, but I like the concealer so you can see it brightens it up blend it out with my foundation all right and then another product, I actually got this in my Ipsy bag. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Press Powder. I've actually really been liking this. Again, I do have larger pores and that professional helps, but um, this powder really, really works. And I use, I've been using an Eco Tools brush that I uh, forgot that I had. And I've actually been liking it for powder. So I just press just this powder in the center of my face where I have pores. And then I switch to my CoverGirl powder. And I actually just take just a tiny bit. Go set the rest of my face. Too much, too much. When I traveled, all of the powder like went out into the little sifter thing. It's one thing that I hate about traveling with powder like this because it always dumps out rather than staying at the bottom. And so you have to be careful when you open it because it all spills out and gets everywhere. So, get it all over the place all off so that's what that looks like like I said I've really been liking that powder um, the bye bye pores powder I don't know if you can I can't really see but it does a good job uh, bronzer nothing new Just to add some color back in. And then the next item I got that I've really been enjoying is this Makeup Revolution um, blush. I did get NARS Orgasm, and I gotta say, I'm not really that impressed with it. Um, it doesn't show up too much on me, so I don't know. I, this Makeup Revolution, to me, is more pigmented than the NARS one. <sighs> so... Um, that's this is what the makeup revolution looks like. I've been loving it. I'm actually gonna try and take this color. Um, it doesn't. I don't think it. No, it doesn't say what color it is, but it's that second one. It has a peach or pink tone to it, but it's super pigmented. It's a little powdery, but I don't mind it. I mean, look at that. Very, very pigmented. I'm just going to blend it out. Okay. And then highlighter. This palette does have some highlight to it. Maybe I'll try that today. I haven't tried those yet, so... 
I don't know if they're blush topper or highlight, but we'll try it as a highlight. I'm just going to go with this one. I don't know if it's meant to coordinate with the blush that I used, but it's okay. I don't really want a huge highlighted look today, which is shocking. <laughs> we all know I love highlight. See that? That's pretty good. Not too bad. It's actually really pretty. So just blend it out a little bit. Okay. And let's do eyeliner. Just going to go with my brown, brown eyeliner in my waterline as normal. And see what it looks like with the purple. I don't know if I want to line up there. I think I'll leave it. Sometimes when I line on my eyelid, it just ruins the look for me. So I, I don't know. I'm just going to leave it. Mascara. <laughs> I feel like I haven't done this. Oh, I want to set my brows first. I don't know. I've been setting my brows before my mascara. I don't think it makes a difference, but to me... That's just what I've been doing. Do you guys have a routine that you normally follow with your makeup or do you just kind of whatever works for you that day? I don't know. I think we all tend to be creatures of habit and this has been my habit. Just my routine with my makeup and I have been wearing makeup pretty regularly which I don't normally do. I normally go without makeup mostly during the week. Um, but with me traveling and being in New York during the week, I wanted to look presentable, so I've been wearing makeup. So let's put some mascara on, Lash Paradise and Wet n Wild Mega Slim for the bottom lashes. This mascara, I've been noticing it gets a lot of products coming out on the wand and it kind of bunches up. So I don't know how much I'm actually really liking this mascara anymore, but I need to find one that works for me other than the Voluminous. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. Drugstore preferred, but let me know even if it's high-end which mascara you love. See what I mean? It. I don't know. I don't know if it's just the tube or what. So yeah, that's... Ah. Oh well. Take some of it off. Ruins a whole look just with that, right? I'm gonna do the bottom lashes. Okay. I really like this purple, it looks nice. And lipstick, last but not least, and I actually have, oh, maybe I lied. Maybe that's not the lipstick that I wanted. No, it's not. I'm terrible. Let me just use what I have here. I don't know what this is. Let me see. I've had this for so long. It's Bear It All, but I don't know who makes it. I don't know. Might be Maybelline. I don't know. But, what this on. 
see what it looks like. I usually put a gloss over it. I don't know if I even have a gloss with me. Oh, I do. Mm. Let's add a little bit of this pink gloss again. I have no idea. I've had this for so long. Yeah, I like that with the gloss. So, that's what the look turned out to be. Not crazy about it, but hey, at least I tried some color. So, I like it. Let me know what you guys think. Um, let me know what ideas you have for new looks. Let me know what you want to see. And before you go, subscribe to my channel. And hopefully I can get some more content up for you this week. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great Tuesday. Go eat some tacos. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.